What's up, freaks? Would you rather do strength or cardio for the rest of your life? This is basically saying if you choose strength, you could never do cardio ever again. If you choose cardio, you can never do anything for strength. Not a single push-up, not a single pull-up, anything. We're going to be asking people from all walks of life this difficult question when it comes to people who are into the gym and working out. We're asking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, black belts, bodybuilders, law enforcement officers, military veterans and special forces, entrepreneurs, men and women from all walks of life. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out the final scoreboard of everyone's answers. Would you rather do strength or cardio for the rest of your life? For the rest of your life, if you could only do one thing, what would it be, strength or cardio? Oh, for the rest of my life, it would be strength because with strength training, if I strength train faster by stacking and, and doing circuits, I'll also have built-in cardio. But if I just do cardio only, no strength, I'll look like a pipsqueak and I don't want that. Oh yeah, people don't get that. Everyone says, no, I need to be conditioned. All you do is five, six exercises in a row. Now you're cardio conditioned, doing strength. Perfect. Exactly. Rest of your life, what would you rather, strength or cardio? Uh, um, you can never do the other one ever again. Ever, ever again. Like, ever if you again. don't choose strength, str strength then. All right, why is that? Um, as an aging athlete, uh, strength like is so connected to longevity. I like the way you put it, an older. aging athlete. Right. <laughs> Basically an old crusty right. an aging athlete. <laughs> I gotta be polite. And, and if you do strength training properly, it will work on your mobility and it can work on your anaerobic efficiency as oh, well. Oh yeah, I think some people picked cardio, but I'm all strength all day because you could turn strength into cardio, right? Yes. And I know we're joking about Tony and being old and Moses and all that stuff, and he is freaking old, but he's he's like 15 or 16 years older than me. That's crazy. And he's still out there actively doing self-defense, like in the trench, like hardcore, like smashing bones on bones. Like whenever I train with Tony, like you feel his force, like especially when he's, he's coming he's at you. He's an like... intense, he's an intense dude at that old because he continues to work on his on his strength. And I'm i I'm already I have injuries, bicep injury. And then it makes you work, realize how important strength is and how easily you lose your strength when you get older. And I'm doing all these weird wrist and bicep functional accessory movements just to recover injury on one side, prevent injury on the other side. And and, and I do the same thing because I don't want to get an injury. Because it makes sense. We skip too much. We go to too much of the big movements. We don't do enough of the smaller stuff that's going to yeah. like help out the bigger stuff. Because as you get older, as an aging athlete, you definitely need to keep your focus on your strength. and. When you get older, the strength becomes more work. So you're actually working on your heart, your cardio conditioning, chain a couple things together. So words of wisdom from Mr. Moses. I mean, Mr. Tony Blau, Tony Blauer. Yes. If you could have only one for the rest of your life, what would it be, strength or cardio? Ooh. You can never do the other one ever again. I never do the other one. Ever. Those are two things I actually love, believe it or not. But man, most people don't think that. I'm good. I, I'm we were, we yeah. were, we were yeah. on the side like, man, that's a real yeah, tough one for Ruben. That's yeah. going to be pretty It's strength. actually pretty tough because I actually enjoy running and all that too, believe it or not. Um, but I'm going to I'm, I'm have to go with, with strength. So I'd rather be able to destroy a 400-pound man than run from the motherfucker, right? <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I like I'd it. rather be able to destroy that I motherfucker. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Only have one. Be able to destroy a 400-pound man than run from the motherfucker, right? <laughs> you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? For the rest of your life, what would it be? Strength or cardio? You can never do the other one. Cardio. Okay. Easy answer. Why you pick cardio? Because I need to outrun a motherfucker if I need to. Okay. Awesome. I think it was the last question. What was Ruben's answer? You he said, said so I could take down a 400 pound man instead of instead run of running from a 400 pound man. Destroy a 400 pound man. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear Ruben yeah, I just say it was a, a hard, hard question? Hard question. Did you see his chest? I said it, I've said, I said it before. He's just, as he's taller laying down than he is standing up because of his barrel chest. I can't. Can you picture? I just don't see he him running. He's a runner. I, he's a trail don't runner. see him running. He said he's a distance trail runner. Distance trail runner. Watch we go for a run with him and we and can't keep up with him. Us. And we're like just sucking wind and he's up there just trucking along laughing at us. We got Ruben, we need to go for a run. We got to go for a run together. Although we haven't even been running ourselves. He will probably smoke us. He says he's a runner. I'm, I'm actually scared now. I know. We're going to look. We're going to go there like 
thinking that we're just Because one some- time we were in the kill house, we were training, and he says, I can keep this up here for so long. I could run for miles, but I can't keep this up here forever. And when I heard that, I just, like, questioned Def- myself. He definitely has the physique of a bodybuilder, but he says he can run. So we got to get a run going with Ruben. Probably going to make us look, run circles around us, probably, because he wouldn't say he's a good runner or he likes running if he didn't do it. So, shit, now we have now we got to get our running together before we go running with Ruben, or he's going to make us look like shit. And this is the whole reason that we're doing this, to find out the different perspectives and reasons behind people's answers. Like Ruben, on one perspective, is probably three feet wide. And his that dude reason- is taller laying down than he is standing up. Like his chest is such a barrel chest that he is taller laying down than standing up. Ruben's reason was he wanted to destroy a 400 pound man instead of run from him. And Desiree's answer was the complete opposite of his. Saying she doesn't know when the hell she's going to need to run to get away because you're different worlds, different thoughts. As the whole purpose of the Would You Rather series is you come up with so many cool different ideas, perspectives. Also, people from different walks of life, different careers, different backgrounds, different childhood, maybe different professions that they're in. Complete different types of answers. That is the awesome and cool thing about this, this entire series of Would You Rather. For the rest of your life, would you rather strength or cardio? Whichever one you pick, you can never, ever do the other one again. As I've gotten older, strength is more important. Why, why is that? Well, I think you need to function. As you get older, you lose muscle, you lose strength, and you get frail. And although I'm a big that advocate of cardio, I've seen the value of working on your strength as we get older. I think it's more important. Hell yeah, we're going to get jacked. Would you rather, for the rest of your life, strength or cardio? Whichever one you pick, you can never do the other one again. I do cardio. Why is that? That way I can go the distance when I need to, rather than just pick up heavy shit and put it back down. That's right. the exact opposite of what Byron said. He said, I just want to pick stuff up and drop, put it down. <laughs> so there you go. Look at the last two. First, there was Kenny, 60-something years old. Just another aging, aging athlete. athlete in the Moses fan club group. He, he's so old, his phone number was seven. And that's how that's how old he is. He went to school with freaking Abraham Lincoln. He was there at the the freaking opera house when the shooting happened. But look, he's still focused on strength. He needs his strength. But then right after that, you had a younger dude, he, the medic, uh, Matt, and he went for cardio. And I think he's the only one that did cardio so far, right? Yeah, he's the only one so far. And Desiree is also the only one. Oh, so he's not the only one. Oh, so just. The wi- so just Evelyn and the women picked cardio. <laughs> so I wonder far. if anyone else is going to pick cardio. What do, you, uh, yeah. what do you think? We still have a few more. I think we still have three more. Ooh. No, four more, four more. I'm yeah. looking at the four left coming up that we have to interview, and I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure I'm none pretty of them sure. are going to pick cardio. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Evelyn, Evelyn and, and the, the women. women. So the medics and the, the medic. medic and the women are picking Says cardio. Says a lot about you, Evelyn. And Desiree's not, Desiree's not your normal woman either. She's a professional Muay Thai fighter, freaking savage of a woman, but she picked the cardio. She wants that conditioning to be able to outlast. And it makes sense. You probably look at, look at Ruben. She's not going to be able to outpower someone like Ruben, but can she outrun him? Although Ruben says he's a runner too. Yeah, Ruben says he's a runner. I want to see that. Yeah, I really do want to see that too. Like, I'm curious. And he just says that he said it was such a hard question. I just didn't imagine it. I just really didn't imagine it. Rather, if you, for the rest of your life, and all these questions are for the rest of your life, if you choose one, you cannot choose the other and you can never do the rest of your life. Strength training or cardio conditioning? What would you choose? The rest of your life, the other one doesn't exist. Strength training. Strength training. Why is that? A gorillas don't care about how fast you can go. Hell yeah. That's what I like. That's what I want to hear. Would you rather do strength? Or cardio for the rest of your life. <laughs> I haven't done cardio my whole life. So fuck that shit. I'll so, do- I knew there was no point day. even asking that. All right. right. And all jokes aside, we didn't even get an answer from Byron because we know his answer. And it was like, he's never done cardio his entire Just life. Just so you know, Byron's answer was the shortest clip of probably the entire series. Seven seconds. Seven second answer. That's how easy it was. But that's why these questions in general are so hard because obviously we we like to be well-rounded. We want strength. We actually want to be overly well-rounded. Our workouts are always so hard because we're like, 
oh, we want to go do that 50 mile hike up in the mountains, but then we also want to get our one met rep, rep max deadlift up or bench press, or we want to also get good at pull ups. Then we want to get good at fighting and jujitsu, but we want to also be able to go swimming. Like, we have, we want to be good at everything. We want to be well rounded, which means you're probably not going to be completely amazing at one thing, but I'd rather be well rounded at many things than just really good at one thing and just average or below average at, at everything else. So that's what makes it such a hard question. Even though most people here so far have been answering, so far, have been answering before you cut me off on the video again. I never cut you off. That's why most people so far are quickly going to strength, but obviously that's what makes it so hard. You want to be well-rounded. We do cardio several times a week in addition to our strength several times a week because we want to be strong and fast. We want to have endurance, but also conditioning and also stamina. A little bit of everything. I don't. You, you already kind of said everything I was going to say. And, well, and you weren't. You just were sitting there. I know, but you just yap, 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 yap. I'll just carry the load as usual. Yep, yep, yep. You know why my hip and lower back is sore? Why? From carrying your ass on these shows all the time. That's getting added in. That's <laughs> getting added in. If you could have only one. Type of like exercise for the rest of your life. What would it be? Strength or cardio? Do I make you nervous? Sir, sir, what? Are you about to call me an asshole? Like one strength or cardio for the rest strength. of your life. Strength. And you can never do the other one ever never again. Never do the other one ever, ever again. That's kind of a loaded question. Can I climb rope? Okay, that's strength and cardio, because I would take that all day. Rope, I'm calling. Yeah, see? You could do rope, body I'm weight stuff. Strength. We're calling that, you calling that strength? Yeah. All right. All right, sure. so I'm staying strength. You can only do one type of training for the rest of your life. Strength or cardio conditioning. You can never do the other one. ever again which one are you choosing strength strength why is that because i can push myself hard enough with the strength training that i'm sweating and get cardio out of strength training awesome easy so, so it's like circuit training back correct. to back superset you're getting your heart rate up correct awesome freaking answer so here are the final results it is a staggering destruction of a score it is eight to two only i think only the women picked pick cardio right no Matt Evelyn picked cardio. Oh no, so Matt Evelyn and the women picked cardio. Sorry, Matt. But eight to two strength. It looks like strength is the clear dominant freaking winner. What was your final choice, your personal choice, Tyson? My final choice has got to be strength. This is got to be strength. This is one of the easiest ones for me. It was strength also. Why did you pick strength? Because uh, strength is just better. You can, you can make strength cardio, like a lot of people are saying. You can make strength cardio but you can't make cardio strength. That's exactly why I picked it, the same exact reason. Like today, we're doing a strength workout today, but if you go with the Infinite Free Fitness Formula, it's our online training program, we do days of strength where we do what's called hex sets, where it's six exercises in a row, a push, a lower pull, followed by push, lower pull, six exercises straight through, and you are working every muscle to the max, but also you're working ridiculously, getting ridiculous cardio, conditioning, endurance, you're getting the best of both worlds. It's hard to make cardio strength, just like Tyson said, but you, it is possible to make strength your cardio. Plus, who doesn't want to be strong and ripped and freaking jacked? But then think about it. If you choose strength, you can never run again the rest of your life. I'll, I'll, I'll get the effects of running from the... I'll, like, do, I'll do 12 exercises in a row. Low rep, you can do light weights, low reps, fast speed. Think about that. That's still a strength exercise, but I'm doing yeah. push-ups real fast or dumbbells real fast for 50 reps. Push-ups aren't considered a cardio exercise, Push-up right? is strength. Push-up is yeah. strength. So if you pick cardio, you you could never yeah, do push-ups or strength pull-ups sure. or rope climb, like someone was saying. Like, it's strength all the way. It dominated, except for the women and the medic, Matt Evelyn. So put down the comments down below what they need to do. Put your comments down below of what your answer would be. Would you rather do strength or cardio for the rest of your life? And this was the second episode of the Would You Rather series, and we'll see you in the next one. No excuses. Put those comments down below in case no one told you yet today. You are freaking awesome. No, no excuses. excuses.